what's up guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl here again peppy and on today's video we are going to talk about the cultural differences between nigeria and germany nigeria and germany has a whole lot of cultural differences so i made my research and i came up with few points in case you have anything more else to add or i'm open to opinions and i would love to know more please put down your comments in the in comment section below so we can talk about it so let's get right into the video here on my journal i made a list of um the things i want to talk about so should in case i look them and oh just know I forgot something i'm reading out the first one i will talk about is greeting in germany you must not greet people you don't have to greet everybody you see on the street whether they are old or young like you don't have to greet like and if you end up greeting everyone you see on the street you might you might be people might see you as weird or something but in nigeria <laughs> If you don't greet people on the street, you are regarded as being disrespectful, especially the old women and the old men. Like when you see someone older than you on the street, you must say good morning, ma, or good morning, sir, or good morning, auntie, or good morning, brother. And we don't really call aunties and brothers to people who are related to us it, it goes to everyone who is younger who is sorry who is older than you so as you're walking on the street you must greet people so that you be that good child and respectful child and then the second one is insultive expressions if you have a clique of friends or besties or whatsoever and you do not insult them like you don't use insultive words like maybe you see a friend after a long time you can say hey you you goat stupid human my friend where have you been you're mad like it's common it's fun and the person might reply back and say maybe you you are mad my friend come here like it's a very common thing if you if you have a bestie and you don't use insultive words <laughs> They're not truly your besties. But in Germany, don't do that. It's it's not nice. It's not cool. When you have friends, German friends, or any other friends from another part of the world, and you use insultive words in terms of making fun, they don't get it. So don't do it. It's not done. And also, there is another one like facial expressions. In Germany, yeah, yeah, they use facial expressions, but not really that much to compare Nigerians' facial expressions. For instance, when they are angry, yeah, you see they are angry. When they are happy, you see it. But in Nigeria, <laughs> people use a lot of facial expressions to do things, especially the parents. The mothers especially like when you go out with your child and the child is misbehaving all you need to do is just have this look like <laughs> i will deal with you when we get back or you started again the child will understand immediately the look on your face okay example if your mother like if you as a parent take a, a child to a friend's house if your mother takes you to a friend's house and the the person asks you, hey, if he, do you want to eat something? First of all, you have to look at your mom's face to read her facial expression. That way, you will know if you should accept the food or not. When she does something like, maybe it's a yes. You can say, yes, I will want to eat. And if she does something like this, don't try it. Just say no, even if you're hungry. Say no. Don't take that food. And when she gives you that face of eat, and the person brings the food to you, just eat like you're human. Eat like 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 you're not hungry. It's normal. Don't mess it up because if you eat like you've not eaten you know, or you've not seen something like this, <laughs> you are in trouble. So that's a very big difference here in Germany. Parents uses their 
facial whatever to control their kids especially outside and i do that too like i think it's nature and my kids have adapted to that when we are outside and something happens or someone says something or before they do something they have to look at my face to see if it's a yes or a no then another one i have here is weddings and parties there is a big difference between nigeria weddings and german weddings in german in germany weddings are strictly they are strictly on invitation and you don't you don't go to a german wedding with all or with all your friends or you don't have to take whomever you want to take along with you it's 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 not it's not like that but in nigeria oh <laughs> god if you're attending a wedding just call all your besties call all your friends tell them there's a wedding taking place and sometimes you don't even need to be invited to the wedding for you to attend the wedding you don't need to be invited you might be passing you might be going along the street and see somewhere see people celebrating or see a wedding party you can enter and sit down as one of the guests and three and wedding invitation cards at they are normally based on formalities like so that the people who has friends will not feel like you didn't invite me for your wedding if you make a plan of 500 people to attend your wedding just make like 1000 seats available because the unknown will surely be there a lot of them and in nigerian weddings or parties after the wedding be sure of takeaways like you can you can pack takeaways and there will be lots and lots of food a wedding or a party without food no one is not a party the person has not started there must be lots lots and lots and varieties of foods a lot and the music uh, oh god just get ready to dance like you must dance their parties are always lit they are always lit top notch then another one i have here is discipline in germany when you discipline your child so hard it's you may end up in jail or you can end up getting a strafe. you might you might end up um being asked to pay a fine or some certain amount of money so you don't discipline kids like that over here but in Nigeria, though it's it's times have changed during our no time. Oh God, we were really really disciplined, like really disciplined. If you do anything wrong, just get ready for some strokes of canes or any sort of punishment. But the mothers, the new generation mothers, we don't really in Nigeria we don't really discipline our kids that much. Though some people still do. Then another one I have here is friendship. In Germany, it's very difficult to make friends, especially when you did not grow up here. Most friends are people who grew up here, like they've been friends for years, probably right from the kindergarten. They've been friends for years. So you as a new as a newcomer here you don't just uh, make that very tight friends here but in nigeria it's different like you can get besties anywhere anytime you might have a bestie and someone asks you how many months have you known this person or how many years have you known the person you're like it's just one month and you guys are that close like it's very 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 common and although there are people like there are a lot of people who their besties are also people they they knew from childhood yeah it's just that here in germany you don't just get friends like that it's difficult for you to get friends but in nigeria you can get friends anywhere even um just walking on the street and you see someone like it's very easy for someone to make friends that's another big difference then another one is burial burial ceremonies oh god in Germany, here their burial ceremonies are it doesn't last for more than a day like it's just people dressed in blacks family members going to the 
burial grounds and do their stuff there get the person buried and go home but in nigeria the burial lasts for more than two days two or three days and it's such a very big ceremony especially when the person died very old like the ceremony it's it's very big there will be lots of food musicians and uh, uniforms so in germany they dress they all dress in blacks but in nigeria they they have to sew clothes the family members relatives friends of friends they sew clothes and the burial in nigeria people waste a lot of money just for burials unlike here like burials it's, it's it's just a big deal so it's a very big difference the burial here and the burial in germany it's it's nothing close to it another thing on my list it's christmas celebrations in germany the christmas is always about family not even not mostly with friends but strictly with families on christmas day which they celebrate on the 24th of december it's all about spending time with your family your loved one exchange of gifts people don't really go out like they just stay indoors eat have fun exchange their gifts it's it's strictly indoors but in nigeria what are you doing inside on christmas day like how can you celebrate christmas inside it's not done like your christmas has to be outside and it has to be with family friends friends of friends relatives uncles aunties grandfathers a lot of visitations you have to visit your grandmother's place gra uh, grandfather's place if if some people who live in the city always travel back home to the village for the celebrations you meet lots of cousins the cousins you hardly see you will meet them you will meet a lot of people and there's something they always do in christmas this masquerade like uh I don't know if they're humans anyways because we're told not to call them humans so i'm not gonna call them humans i don't know if they're spirits maybe they're humans i don't know they they look like monsters they chase people around i mean not the the child lack masquerades the the very big ones they chase people around people go out to wash them and it's Christmas is always fun and there's this another kind of cultural thing like do Christmas for me in Germany you don't say please do Christmas for me do Christmas for me I mean monetary wise nah but in Nigeria growing up we always tell people aunties uncles friends whomever mom's friend dad's friend uncle do christmas for me and they'll give you money by january you will find out that you will have lots of money and also christmas clothes in germany they buy christmas sweaters and everything but it's not you must not who nobody cares about what you what you wore nobody cares about if you have christmas clothes or shoes in nigeria ah growing up we must have christmas clothes you that our parents must get us christmas clothes christmas shoes we need to make christmas hairs because when you get to the village you need to be the happening chick the happening babe like you need to be on flick so christmas is such a big deal and there's this thing about marriage getting married in nigeria as far as you are done with school especially university as far as you are done with your education the next thing is when are you getting married when is she getting married when is she having kids is she not gonna get married so what next it's it's such a big deal once you're done with school the next one is marriage but here in germany like the earlier you get married the earlier people the, the more people ask you are you sure this is what you want to do what about your career like what about your life people tend to marry late here or start to have kids later here because they they cope with their careers like they live their life 
to the fullest before they end up most people before they end up with a man or start or begin to have kids but in nigeria once you're done with your university people start asking you when are you getting married so it's a big cultural difference yeah then another one is religion <laughs> religion in nigeria it's <laughs> it's a big thing here in germany people go to church parents take their kids to church but once you've come of age nobody is dragging you to church you have the right to decide if you're going to be attending church every sunday or if it's when you want but in nigeria you have to go to church especially being a catholic you must go to church if you have catholic parents like staunch catholic parents you must go to church even if you're in the university like you don't live anymore with the parents at home especially the moms they will still control you on saturdays they might call you and tell you don't forget to go to church or on sundays they will call you i hope you went to church today i hope you went to church and even as i am here in germany <laughs> with kids my mom still controls me most times like i hope you went to church today did you guys go to church today but thank god for corona she doesn't ask anymore anyways I'm going to end this video here and turn on your bell notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload a video. And for those of you guys who have subscribed and kept watching me and everything, I say a very big thank you. I'm really grateful. I appreciate you, every one of you. So guys, see you guys next time. Have a nice day. Peppy loves you all. Ciao.